What's up guys? How are you all doing today? I hope you guys are feeling great, feeling happy. It's currently the 27th of December. It's kind of late. I like your outfit, bro. Yeah? Look good. Yeah, I'm a gangster. Yeah. Well, I never popped nothing. Alright, I'm just playing. <laughs> um, it's, it's 5 o'clock already. We're starting pretty late. You guys saw my workout earlier today. And yeah, I did chest, I did triceps, and I did shoulders, and then I did abs. I didn't record my whole entire routine because I didn't feel like it. I was like, just wanted to get focusing in my workout. Get in the zone. With. Get into the zone. Out of auto zone. zone. Uh, <laughs> jinx. Um, uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Uh, I don't know what other holidays go around during this time. Is Kwanzaa during this time? I'm not sure. If it is, happy Kwanzaa. I'm not sure. And happy Hopefully birthday to everybody. Anybody. Happy birthday to everybody who was born oh, yeah, on the 24th. Happy birthday who was born on the 24th. Or you only got one gift. Yeah. Yo, it's got to suck to have your birthday on the 24th. Wait. Our aunt has her birthday on the 24th. Yeah, she was. Was it the 25th? 24th. Something like that. Or the 25th. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. We should know this. I'm Anyways, all the way in Columbia, she man. only gets one know. gift. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, we're about to go to the supermarket. This whole week is about juicing. We're going to be juicing this entire week. So we need to stock up on veggies. So you guys are going to see what kind of vegetables we're going to go buy and how much we need for two people so we can juice the whole entire week. So that should be fun. Hopefully you guys are juicing. It's very important, guys. Like if you want to stay young yeah. and beautiful, yes. you to juice. This is your favorite so, place, Brian. Lotte Plaza? Lotte Market, bro. I guess. So this is one of the Asian markets we have in our uh, around our neighborhood yeah. where we live, and well, they have pretty good fruit sometimes. Yeah, they do. Well, they usually do. And right now we're low on oranges, and we gotta get some oranges. That's right. We need some oranges. So we got our oranges, we got our aloe vera, we got our bitter melon, and we got our cucumbers. And we got some pomegranates. Now we gotta go to Whole Foods, get some more veggies, and we're gonna go to Costco, right? Maybe. I think we're low on some stuff yeah. for the house. So, let's go. Ready? We're live. All right, stop number two of three stops. Whole Foods. Whole Foods it is. My favorite place in the world. A place that makes you go bankrupt, kind of. Yo, Whole Foods is overpriced. Well, if you buy like everything that's in Whole Foods, like yeah. all the processed and... Well, you uh, know what? A lot of people always think that like by going to Whole Foods, you're buying the best stuff of the best, but it's not always true. Sometimes like... You gotta know how to shop around. Stuff at all, like, like today, we went to the Asian market. Yeah, and, and we something. still haven't gone to Costco. And we haven't gone to Costco. Costco or has Sam's. good stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. So um, right now, we're just gonna get some, some vegetables that we couldn't get at um, the Asian market. I kind of like the beets at Whole Foods better. Oh, they're way better. Yeah, they're way better. So let's just go. Let's make a quick stop, man. Yeah, Come on. Okay, so. Let's go. All right, here it is. These are too small. Way too small. Way too small, man. Yeah, we, we usually take the loose beets that are right there. Yeah. But I guess this time we'll take the golden beets. Yeah, they don't have they don't have the beets that we want. So we have to work with what we what they got. You know, they say the greens are more beneficial than the actual beet. Well, I didn't know they said it. I know you say it. Yeah. <laughs> Now, are you recording me? Yeah, I'm recording 30 frames? you. Yeah, 30 frames. All right, because sometimes I don't know if you're recording me slow motion. You're trying to make me look all cool. But we're using yeah. a new camera, so it's like, yeah. we got to get used to it. The low light's amazing on this camera. Isn't yeah, it? it's a lot better than really the last cool. one. This is the first time I use this camera for the, on, my, on this channel. Actually, it's our channel now. It's your channel for now. Oh. Yeah. So, um... Where are we headed? We're headed to Costco. Costco. Get some stuff. Yeah. Should be fun. Who doesn't love Costco? I mean, they got everything over there. All right, let's go to Costco. You know what, man? What? I forgot my Costco card. Oh, you did? So what are we gonna do now? I think they can give you like a, like a temporary card, right? I'm not sure. Can they? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Or else, we're screwed. Or you can open up a membership. I don't have a membership. You don't want to be a member? No, because I always use your card. 
My car? Yeah. Are you? You cheap. Of course. That's how you save money nowadays, Brian. Stop. Ah, oh, didn't make the stop. And he looked at us too. I know, right? Yeah. You remember when we used to eat chips and salsa? Yeah, look, I found these sweet potato chips. It looks so weird. Like, since my parents left, they, my parents left the home. Yeah. They went to Colombia. Usually they were the ones who always buy like potato chips and all this stuff. Oh, they buy all this. Yeah. They buy yeah. all this. I will snack on it, you know, because I can't, I can't control myself. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I just need some salt. Cause but right now I see this, I'm like, oh. But the good thing, the good thing since they left is that like, I've cut on all that stuff. And I don't feel like as bloated as I used to. So, yo, are these good? Well, I, I, don't, I don't know. know if just... I should get them or not. Look, the sodium, 80, 85 milligrams. 85 so, milligrams. Servings per container, 13.5. Well, it's actually pretty low. I mean, it's, it's actually just, pretty low. It's lightly salty. That means like if you eat the whole bag, you'll get like um, your half requirement of sodium for the day. I'm not gonna eat the whole bag. Exactly. You see? Should so it's not that bad. But then you look at the fat content. It's nine grams. And it's 10 to 12 chips. Well, I don't know, Brian. You got a tough decision there. It's tough, man. Sometimes, like, I want to eat chips, but we don't have any, which is good. That's yeah. what I want. Tough decision. So let's take it. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just can't be too strict on your diet, you know? Don't you think so? I mean, it depends what you're craving. I really don't get that many cravings anymore. You don't, right? Well, no. I get cravings for chips. Yeah. Usually when I know that my body wants salt, I just add salt to my food and that's it. But it's not the same, man. It's like, you want to have that crunchy... Yeah, like the chips and salsa, that's what I'm telling you. Like, yeah, I used I to crave that a lot. Like, I don't want salsa, but... Yeah. Alright, we came here for veggies, right? Yeah, Are veggies they? and paper. And paper. Oh yeah, yeah. we need paper. Paper salsa. Organic seaweed yeah, snacks. Yeah, man, I've never ever seen this before. Hey, these are better than the chips you're taking. To tell you're you right, the right? I mean, they it seem has, like it. This has sodium, right? But which brand is Breder? Is it the Kirkland brand? Which which brand is Breder? Breder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, which one? I don't know. I, I just want to taste one. We'll take that one. But it's a lie. What oh, if we but don't it's like onion it? flavor. Uh, yeah, take this one. No, man, I'll, I'll give you like your breath will start kicking. Yeah. It should, I mean, look, if it's seaweed, it should give us iodine, right? You could put this in the smoothies as well. You could. It's like. I don't know if you're constipated, you go ahead and take it. I'm not constipated. Ah, you're constipated. That's why you want to take it. That's why. Oh. <laughs> this will make you go like big time? Yeah, it makes you go, yeah. It's really good to alleviate that type of symptom. I mean, I'm already okay. If I go more than what I already got. Yeah, but know. then you'll be twice as good, bro. I'm okay. How about, uh, <laughs> about uh, dried blueberries? Dried blueberries? Yeah, why would we, like, should we take this? I don't know. If you want it, take it. It's better, like, it's better just to have normal blueberries, right? Uh, I guess. It depends where it comes from. Just take it, bro. It'll be a good snack. Like, raisins are good snacks. Oh, yeah. Take, take. take some... Wait, do we have raisins at home? Probably. I think we raisins probably do. better than raisins, bro. Let me see. They're like raisins. Oh, yeah. I imagine it different. I didn't see that. You can see them inside. Yeah. All right, um, what else do we need? Paper towels? Paper. Paper. Now that I look at it, we actually didn't even get anything. Nah, bro, we didn't get anything. Look, we got your chips. Main reason we came here was for paper towels. Yeah, papers. And we got a few apples. And we got the seaweed. Yeah. And we got some dried fruit. That's not that bad. And we got this maple syrup they said it looked good. Hey, it looks... I still haven't looked at it. It looks it fancy. Looks like, it looks fancy. It looks like a, te like a tequila bottle. <laughs> it does, right? <laughs> Like tequila, well, it man. says that it has 2% alcohol or may contain 2% alcohol. I don't okay. know how that works. Well, we got the greens for we the got, smoothies. We got some snacks. Yeah. That's pretty good. All right. Overall, good, good, good haul. Grocery yeah. haul. Today. Grocery haul. Is that what we're going to title this video? Grocery haul? The most amazing grocery haul you've ever seen in your life. Oh, <laughs> Alright guys, um, right now we're about to get some food because we're feeling hungry.
this. This is an extreme. Oh, it is. It is, right? Yeah. You know, we haven't had a tree in our house for a while. Let's like a this. Christmas tree, you know? Let's just pick this one up, pick this one up and take it. We'll come tonight. We'll dress in black. Yeah. I don't see it come. <laughs> so I'm just kidding. Well, I don't even think it fits our house. Yeah, Alright, so yeah, let's go get some food, man. Alright, yeah. Um, I'm in the mood for some salad and a pizza. I'm gonna okay. get a salad that I chopped and I'm gonna get a pizza at M Pizza. An M Pizza. Should be good. Is it M Pizza? Yeah, it's, oh, oh, I think it's Love and Pizza. Something like that. Yeah. Um, this is my favorite place, though. Yeah. I love this place. I get in here every single day. Well, I know that, man. Yeah. They're like all about the greens. Yep. Would you say it's mission accomplished? Mission accomplished. Got my salad and my pizza, man. Nice. Oh, yeah, so good. Yo, the weather is weird, isn't it? It is, right? It's like it's been in the 60s today. Yeah. It's and been in the 60s and it's December. And we're in Maryland. And we're in Maryland. It should be like like 20 degrees. This time 30. of year, like it should be, yeah, like 20, 30s. 20, 30s. Pretty crazy stuff, man. So we're taking that tree, right? Uh, nah, man. I'm not a thief, bro. No? I can't do that. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, yeah, what are we gonna do? Go home, eat. Go home, eat, and plan should for we, tomorrow's show, video. Yeah, tomorrow's video. Should we show them uh, what we bought? We got some what we bought at the grocery store, right? So there's no point not showing. No point. Yeah, there's no point. So this is day one, right? This is day one. So what's our format? All right, our format basically is gonna be that I record one day, then Ronald's gonna record the next day. Well, basically, I'll record him. Wait, he'll record me like he is right now, then I'll record him, and then we'll alternate. Okay, and that would be one vlog. Could be, could be two vlogs. We'll yeah. see. Depends okay. how much footage we get. Right. But we can't. One thing that I've noticed when I was vlogging every single day. Yeah. It's tough to vlog every single day and make it entertaining. It you is, know? right? It's tough. I guess. I guess one thing that we have to figure out is um. Is like if we can't, if we don't upload every day. Yeah. But we put up great content, then that's what we're gonna do. That's what we have to do, you know? Right. So, yeah, guys. Expect vlogs very frequently now. Man, my eyes are pink, aren't they? Well, I mean, red. your eyes are swollen. Yeah, it's bro. Because, um... Because I, I just went in to wash my hands mm -hmm. in the bathroom, and I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, whoa, man, what's up with your eyes? And then I figured it out. You know what it was? What? You woke me up, like, at 4 in the morning. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> He was having back problems. Yeah, it's, so, uh, yeah, man. I'll tell him tomorrow what happened. You can tell him tomorrow. Yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my food. Maybe watch some basketball. I don't know who's playing right now. And then relax. But I'll be the camera guy tomorrow, and you'll be seeing my brother. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and don't turn off YouTube. Don't get out of YouTube yet, cause there's still more to this video. So see you guys tomorrow. What's up, bro? Day two. Day I'm, two. I'm taking over this thing, Brian. Taking it over. Taking it over. Take it over. You know, I think we're gonna have some type of competition uh, like by the end of all this. Yeah. Like, uh, who's better, Brian like, or who's Ronald? Who's a better vlogger? Brian or Ronald? Although we're kind of vlogging at like, the same team time. Team Brian or Team Ronald? <laughs> yeah. All right, so let me show them my breakfast. Um, all right, show your breakfast, bro. So we're still doing intermittent fasting, right? Yeah, well. Okay. It's yeah, one yeah. o'clock, bro. Yeah, it's late. It's one o'clock, so we're having our first meal. So what, would, what do we do in the morning? Um, we go online, we answer as many questions as possible, um, we get our post active and going, um, and yeah, that, that, that's pretty much like the whole day right there, just answering a whole bunch of emails and questions, and trying to get like this company going. So, what are we doing? Breakfast time. Um, I like to start my day with berries. Berries, um... Barry Allen. Yeah, I love Barry's. Brian just made like the, I don't know what you made. <laughs> you don't know who Barry made. Allen is? Of course I do, bro. The Flash, bro. The Flash. That's my favorite show on TV. All right, yeah. I made the smoothie. Basically, it has two bananas, four dates, and mixed berries. All right, cool. So I'm going to add this to this right here. Berries on berries. Berries on berries. That's how we do it. Yeah. And um, antioxidants, all that good stuff. And then I add a little bit of pumpkin seeds. Oh, and um, this thing. 
Um, I, I really didn't like it, bro. Yeah, I didn't like it either. It's, it's oily, bro. Yeah, man. We shouldn't have bought all that. We have way too much. Yeah, it's like way too much. That's what I get for listening to you, man. No, I listen to you. Well, I didn't want it. You wanted to take you it. You wanted chips. Yeah, but you but were like, oh, like, you should this. take this. Yeah, but then we were better off just buying like nori rolls or nori sheets or whatever. All right, so now like it's, it's, it's one o'clock. I still take my liver thingy. And I got two waffles in the oven. And this is a brand, um, what's it called? Ezekiel? Ezekiel, man. These are so good. This is the first time. Well, this is. No, the flavor sucks. This one? No, compared to the Eggos that I used to have when I was like in middle school and elementary Bro, school. Bro, the blueberry ones we had were so good. Uh, I, 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 I liked it a lot. Taste wise, old school, Eggos. Really? Yeah. I don't Maybe know, man. Maybe because I used to use Aunt Jemima, now I'm not using anything. Aunt Jemima. Yeah. Nah, bro. Girls meet boys and lots of hugging and kissing. Okay, so what's the mission for today? We have a lot of camera gear and I kind of wanted to make a video uh -huh. like showing the cameras that we once had just to show people that you don't really need like good camera or good equipment to make videos. What do you, mean? you don't need good equipment. Well, think about it. All I had was a flip cam. You just right? don't need. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're you right. see what I'm saying? That's how you started off. That's how I started off. Like I made. I think I made a little bit more than like 200 something videos with a flip cam. Yeah, you did. And then I used a Nikon One or was it a Nikon? A Nikon. Turn right. Bro. Yeah, then Nikon. Turn right again. I used a Nikon for a while, and I shot pretty much like all the um, 52 week detox. I shot them with those, but now we have like all these like camera equipment that we just want to sell and buy better lenses yeah we have a lot of camera equipment right now that we don't use right Turn right so we gotta uh, yeah, we want to sell it or trade it in for like uh, this lens we want for a, for a new camera yeah for a new camera so that's pretty much what we're doing oh look Tesla right don't you want to buy a Tesla nah, man I don't like Tesla man yeah we don't like it yeah. we drove it I mean they're good for the environment and everything but that's what they like say okay so we're here in Washington DC we're still here after the we know we didn't show them the camera store. No, we didn't show them the camera store. We were there for a while. We were there like for almost an hour yeah. and a half. But everything was awesome. Like yeah, everything, everything we traded in. Yeah, we traded in and we pretty much came out even. We actually um, bought a couple filters that we needed for our lenses. Yeah. That's actually really important because look. We need to protect our lenses. We're not much about cameras in terms of like taking pictures and like we don't know too, we don't we know a lot but we don't know that much. Did I contradict myself right there? Kind of. I probably Doesn't did. matter, man. We're we, hungry. Let's go. We. we know a lot about video. That's yeah. what we know about. And so we pretty much came out even, which is what we wanted. But if you guys would have seen the amount of things that we traded and what we got, I think... You'd be like, oh, yeah. we got robbed. Yeah, we but got no, robbed. it's not. Because, yeah. like, new things come out. And that's how and it is. And things get lowered in price. Yeah. And then you don't get as much as you would if it was new. So, yeah, it happens, man. Yeah, that's like everything. It's like you know? technology everything advances. Appreciate. Yeah. A lot of food, man. You can eat these. all that. Yeah. Oh, I might not eat one of these, but I just wanted to try something different this time. Yeah. Um, I got a, I got a pie. A pie. It has tofu and it's like curry season. It tastes pretty good. It looks good. It's different. It looks nutritious, kind of. Yeah. What else did you get? And then right here, I got um. This this place is called Sakurian. Yeah. And I got three tacos and then I got a bowl. A bowl with rice, um, tofu. Well, let's show them the tacos. Kale. Open it up. Show them the tacos, yeah. Those tacos that's are That's like the best thing about it. That's like the best thing about this. Tacos place. look amazing. Yeah. They we look really good. We love tacos. That's something that we really enjoyed when we went to Mexico. Oh, yeah, the tacos in Mexico tacos are amazing. Although people were saying, oh, no, you didn't really have tacos, but since we follow a plant based diet, but for us, it's like. Yeah, a lot of people said that we should have gone to like trucks, food trucks. So that's where you actually have to try the tacos. Yeah, but we're not gonna have meat. That's the problem. Yeah. So, but I know where they're coming from. It's like yeah. we didn't get to experience the full, like, the full like Mexican tacos. Yeah, that's but, true. Hey, it's better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, we had pink tacos. <laughs> we did. <laughs> they were pink. We should, we should try they were made with beets. We should, we should do that one time. Try to make tacos? Yeah. We'll, like we'll tortillas? Try, we'll make the tortillas ourselves and we'll add beet juice to the flour and then it'll have the same color. Yeah, maybe, man. Oh, and we can also make like, um, like green tacos as well. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. right. I think you're just hungry. All right. So yeah, uh, I got the same thing too. I got tacos and I got a bowl as well. Let me show you guys the bowl. Look at that. I added Brussels sprouts and tofu, brown rice, and I think that's it, right? Did it have, does it have beans? Sweet no, potato? no beans. They don't have, have beans here. Sorry, uh, right. They need whoa, beans. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy started without me? You started without me, man? Yeah. Why? Well, wait. Did I end the vlog already or not? No, you haven't ended it. I haven't ended it? No. Oh, okay. The last thing we did was uh, we ate. Oh yeah, we ate. And we so ate. Now we're here. Now we're here at home. Uh, fast forward uh, four hours later. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or three hours. I don't know. I don't know what the time but is. But you right. gotta work out, Brian. Man, you're going fast. Yeah. Look at, look, look at this quick. And this isn't. This isn't like we're not fast forward. Fast forwarding or anything. You like my sneakers. Yeah, they're gangster. Yeah, they are, right? Yeah. So um, <laughs> trying to get my motivation. Yeah. Yeah, cause so, it's tough, man. It's tough. It is, right? It's winters. Especially in the winter time. Yeah, it's, winters, it's so man. it's ridiculous, man. Yes. I hate I, I hate the winter. Yeah. Well, what is it about the winter that makes people so sluggish? What is it? The cold weather. Uh huh. It makes your blood sluggish. Yeah. So you circulate less. Um, the circadian rhythm. Uh huh. Um, our eyes are are adapted to light, right? Yeah. Well, our internal organs. Um, they function at a different frequency, so depending on the light levels. Yes. Um, our bodies know if it's morning, if it's nighttime. I, and I, I feel that's true. So as soon as it gets dark, uh -huh. it's just like half four. Yeah. Well, that's you suddenly all, you suddenly become like sluggish and tired, and then this throws you off the lights. These uh, what are you, uh, these aren't LEDs. These are. These are. Fluorescent lights. Fluorescent lights. Yeah, my dad, he loves fluorescent lighting. Yeah. I would never have fluorescent lighting in my house. We got fluorescent lights everywhere, everywhere. here. Everywhere. Yeah, this whole like, house. It's like the worst. And offices have a lot of fluorescent lighting. Because it throws you off. It makes you feel like it's actually day when it's night. Yeah. It's crazy. So you should start dimming like your lights immediately. Like after like maybe five, it slowly starts to dim. But who does that, man? Nobody does that. I don't know. So I'm going to walk for a little while. I forgot to tell him. I forgot to tell him how it is that um like I got injured all of a sudden. Oh yeah, you got injured, bro. Well, it's not like a huge injury, but it's something I've never felt before. We've been sitting on the computer for a very long time, especially me, like editing the videos, right? And one thing that I noticed that as soon as I got done editing the very last video, like I stood up and yeah. all of a sudden I had like this tightening up here in my lumbar. Well, the day before we did squats, Oh, and you were, and you were you were complaining that your hamstring was like yeah, feeling kind of weird. Like, yeah, from sitting down a lot. Yeah, and usually when and you were doing your form a lot different than you would normally do it if it wasn't for that hamstring. Who knows? That's what I feel like the problem. You think was so? Like, I course. think it's from sitting down. Sitting down. So yeah, from sitting down. Cause all of a sudden, like I did this um, tension release system that I saw on YouTube. Yeah. YouTube is always there to help, man. Where like you place the foam roller like right here like by, by, by your belly button and you place all your weight on top of it and then all of a sudden I feel like this release in my back. Like something, something just snapped in my back. But I didn't even touch my back. I was like lying on the foam roller like on this side and then I started rolling like back and forth right here and then I felt the release in my back. And then I did um, this simple stretch and then I could like, like walk Yeah, you were, you were a lot better. Yeah, I was fine so. Yeah, because you could barely bend down and stuff. Right, I could barely bend down. It's like it's yeah. scary because I've had like back injuries like in the past and then I would do other stretches like for my piriformis which is completely different but in this case I knew it wasn't that because this was something strange that I was feeling like back here and like yeah. up here like by my leg but now like I feel good now yeah. so what do you think about your first day well I didn't like it you didn't like the truth, it I didn't like it because we're not I'm not able to show things that I want to show because yeah. I'm always doing stuff yeah we're busy yeah we're busy especially right now yeah right now so the whole key to this thing, Brian, I think it's going to be once we actually create like a system uh -huh. where we're at a specific place, we know exactly what we're doing and we don't have to do anything outside of what we have to do. Yes. You see, I know that sounds really like um, broad, 
But believe me, there are other things that we have to do that we're not supposed to do that we shouldn't be doing, but we're doing it because we have to do it because we have obligations. Exactly. So as soon as we get rid of those things that we're doing, we'll be able to concentrate well, 100, 100, 120 percent. Well, you know what? what? Pretty soon we'll be headed to where your shirt says. Yes. Like, LA. LA. That's why I wore it today, cause I'm trying to get in the mood. I'm trying to get going, you know. And that's why I started walking, cause I I can imagine myself walking to LA right now. Well, walking to LA. Good luck, man. I'm taking the play. How many days? Uh, Wait. next month we're leaving. Yeah, we'll meet. We'll so leaving let's sign month. off. We're already making this video longer than what it should yeah. be. Wait, can I do what you do? Yeah, I mean you can do whatever, man. Bam! It's, oh no, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, since it's on. Yeah. Okay, guys, I love you all. I don't talk like that. Yeah, I think you talk like that. Yeah. So hey, hey, man. Hey, um, just want to say um, I love you all, and and see you next time. Bam! <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> That's not funny. Okay, guys. Um. So, uh... Um, That's not funny either. No? Make it original. <laughs> Alright, um... Well, turns out YouTube says that likes... Like, it doesn't really matter if, if people like your stuff anymore. It's about how long you're willing to watch this video. So hopefully, you watched it all the way until the end. And if you didn't... Whoa, likes don't matter? Yeah, likes don't matter. Yeah, it, it's all about how long they view the video now. That's ridiculous. It is. Until then, a few months later... They will change the algorithm And again. then likes do matter. matter. <laughs> yeah, but for now, likes don't matter. So go ahead and put whatever you want. Like it, a like up or a thumbs down or whatever. Nah, man, no thumbs down. And um, leave a comment. Leave a comment letting us know what it is you want to see you uh, us talk about like in these videos. Because I think these videos are going to be maybe 15 to 20 minutes long. So you guys can decide like a huge part of our day like on what topics you want us to talk about. That's something that's key, cause we got a lot of informations in here, and yeah, we, we do have, have to share a lot of info. We have to share it. So I'm, I'm gonna come out like on my part, Brian. Yeah. I'm coming out with like stuff that maybe I haven't even talked to my other channels, bro. Right. Yeah. So it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, man. All right. So mm -hmm. stay tuned. Okay. More videos coming soon. All right. Excellent. To a theater near you. Yeah. No, to not, a YouTube near you. Yeah. To a YouTube near you.